this year, the Fisheries Department says they've given out 169 licenses to Belizeans to use a gill net. Um, of that number, Ministry officials are also agreeing with us that it's a lot less in terms of full-time use. Um, that is to say that most of the 169 are only using the gill nets seasonally. So it is clear, um, however, because when we're talking about all of this, it's not about the habitat resource, the actual biological resources, it's a people resource. At the end of the day, people are the ones that are going to be affected. And in terms of fisheries, it's a lot of people. Um, so we acknowledge that fishermen will need support to transition to other gear, to other livelihoods, but there has to be a catalyst to incentivize them to change because we've been talking about addressing destructive gear such as gillnets for far too long. And the gillnet fishers that are proponents of, of maintaining a gillnet will admit to you that they themselves are not seeing the numbers that they used to see. So they are seeing that downward trend. So they, they're open to it. They, they, they will tell you straight out they can't do it overnight and we're not asking for it overnight. We're talking about a phase out, but of moving towards that.